the moment that had us riveted and millions all over the world watching. This is a space helmet right here worn by the daredevil Felix Baumgartner as he comes out of his capsule right there jumping, attempting the highest skydive ever, free falling at speeds that surpass 700 miles an hour. He was trying to smash the sound barrier. There were moments of danger when it seemed like he might spin out of control in that free fall. He did survive, but what about the record and what did we learn today that might help the future of space travel? ABC's Ryan Owens tonight on the incredible jump and what it looked like at the end of the wild ride. Release. With cheers from his crew and tears from his mom, Daredevil Felix Baumgartner began his improbable journey to the edge of space. Capsule check, are you ready? Yes, sir, go ahead. For two and a half hours, the 43-year-old Austrian skydiver floated to an astounding 24 miles up, 128,000 feet above the New Mexico desert, where he opened his capsule, hung his feet out the door, was reminded to unfasten his seatbelt, seat saluted, and he just jumped right into the record books. He plummeted at an inconceivable 833 miles per hour. So fast, the only way to see him was this infrared camera. The first human to break the sound barrier with just his body. No jet, no rocket. He tumbled out of control for a few 10 seconds, then righted himself and managed to make a sound. It was enough for mom. Okay, here we go, Felix. The entire way up and down, Felix heard only one voice. a boy. It was the voice of experience. 84-year-old Joe Kittinger held the record for the highest free fall for 52 years. Today, he talked Felix through shattering that record by more than 25,000 feet. Whoa! High winds delayed liftoff last week, but nothing, it seemed, could keep Felix from the stratosphere today. He even returned to Earth on his feet with a record that's simply out of this world. When you stand up there on top of the world, you become so humble. It's not about breaking records anymore. It's not about getting scientific data. It's all about coming home alive. We know Felix will be in the record books. He may well be in science books as well. Researchers plan to study what happened to his pressure suit today, and they think they can design stronger, safer ones for the astronauts of the future. And David, he may have inspired some of those today as well.